What's up guys and welcome to a new video. My name is Frank and I react to my own music. Today I'm here again with Wagaki Band and this time with their song Suyoku. Of course I never listened uh, to this uh, song before. It's a very interesting title because Suyoku, if I am not mistaken in Japanese, means reminiscence. Like you remember something uh, that happened to you, something like that. But yeah, it's pretty interesting. And um, of course, I love this band. Like their sound is amazing. They have a very original sound. The way they mix uh, traditional Japanese music with rock and metal, it's amazing. Basically, their type of music is a mixture uh, between uh, folk music and rock and metal. So it's basically Japanese folk rock metal music, something like that. <laughs> The music genre is, is so interesting and so original that I can't really define it clearly, you know what I mean? Because they have many, many different songs that sound all basically different. Uh, yeah, they're definitely incredibly talented and uh, I really enjoy listening to them for sure. And uh, it's kind of a, I'm kind of sad that it's been a while since I reacted to, to them because I just reacted to their song Omura in different versions, you know? And that's a super, super interesting reaction, in my opinion. And now I'm doing this. And yeah, I, I'm going to try to react to them uh, more uh, often in the, in the future. But yeah, guys, before I start this reaction, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you like the video, leave me a like and a comment. If you have more suggestions for me, you just want to say hi or whatever. And let's start. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, this one is gonna be one of those more classic Japanese sounding style, I think. And it's, it's very cool. <laughs> Starting with the koto. Koto. Very interesting intro, by the way. Wow. <laughs> Didn't really expect him to sing. Like at the start, like this. <laughs> Acoustic song, really? Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, 
Man, I gotta say, this really surprised me. I didn't expect this to be an acoustic song like this. And uh, a basically acoustic bald, bald song. That's what I would call this, right? And uh, I didn't expect Machia to sing, like to be the lead singer in the song. Because I even seen like uh, Yuko basically just walking on the star. I was kind of expecting her to start singing, you know what I mean? But uh, I gotta say that it's got an amazing voice. Wow. I don't think I reacted to many songs where he sings this much, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, he's definitely very, very good, both at playing guitar, of course, and uh, singing. And uh, mind you, that singing and playing guitar at the same time, no matter what, what you're playing, it's a lot harder because you are doing two things at the same time, right? And uh, you need to train a lot to be able to do that fluently, you know? Even though the song is not that fast, it's not that uh, technical, it's just strumming basically, but uh, trust me, like ju even just strumming like this and singing is a lot more difficult than, ju than, than just playing or just singing, uh, you know, you are doing two things at the same time. And uh, wow, very cool mood and uh, of course, as I said in a lot of videos, um, ballads, are not uh, my favorite type of songs but uh, now that I discovered a lot of Japanese bands I gotta say that they are basically make me like even ballads still not my favorite because I usually like heavy stuff very fast technical heavy stuff like speaking uh, about rock and metal music but this is definitely very very cool I like it And that photo in the background really sets the mood, you know what I mean? I really like, by the way, how their drummer is playing a very, very much stripped down version of a, of a drum set. It's basically just a tambourine with some, uh, some plates over there. And uh, wow, very interesting. And uh, very interesting also the fact that he's playing uh, an electric guitar still and the other ones are all playing um, acoustic instruments. Even the bass player is playing an acoustic bass. But I think he's still uh, playing uh, an electric guitar. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, electric guitar, if you uh, have not very powerful unbuckers on it, on uh, even single coils on it, and uh, you basically play the guitar super duper clean without any kind of distortions or effects, it would still sound almost like uh, an acoustic guitar. Not classic, but it will sound like an acoustic guitar. Uh, granted, the fact that you have, you know, you don't have super duper powerful unbuckers on it, or you don't have uh, super duper thick uh, string gauges on it, stuff like that. But yeah, that's very interesting. <laughs>
Also interesting the fact that they have no shamisen in this one. Very interesting. This is very, very cool. Very cool song. Very cool acoustic uh, folk ballad from this guy, so I gotta say. And uh, yeah, definitely surprised me a lot. I didn't expect him to be the lead singer uh, on a song. And uh, let me know if they have other songs where he's lead singer in. Very, very interesting. He's got an amazing voice, gotta say. And uh, you know, this was a very melodic, very slow kind of song. Not super technical, but sounded very, very good, gotta say. And I love the fact that they had the koto in the background, basically, uh, through all the song, which made it sound very, very Japanese, you know? And at the same time, they had a lot of strumming, and uh, even an acoustic bass, but it was playing an electric guitar. Of course, very, very clean electric guitar that sounded almost like an acoustic, as I said before. And definitely the sound of the song is very cool. Really, really enjoyed it. And uh, you know, it's an interesting spin uh, for a ballad uh, type of song. It's just not a ballad, it's an uh, acoustic folk ballad, which just, just by that, it makes it a lot more interesting uh, listening. Uh, like a lot of uh, uh, other ballads are just you know slow, very melodic, but just played with electric instruments or classic you know metal or rock instruments. But of course they have a lot of uh, classic Japanese uh, like ancient style instruments in it that make this type of songs when they play them a lot cooler in my opinion. Just because you know it's just not a ballad; it's a folk ballad with classic Japanese instruments in it and uh, it's a lot more interesting to listen to, you know what I mean? And I uh, definitely, definitely like that. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this reaction, please consider subscribing to the channel, leave me a like and a comment. If you have more suggestions for me, just want to say or whatever and definitely see each other in the next one. Rock on!